the torque transfer transom came about back in the early 2000s, we wanted to do a bass boat without a splash wheel. And we needed a way to support the transom. The engines were getting larger, the loads they imposed on the back of the boats were getting heavier. So we came up with what we call the torque transfer transom. And what it is, it's a rigid link between the transom of the boat, the engine mounting surface, and the rest of the hull. Most manufacturers try to incorporate a glass knee brace, if you will. Everything is bonded together. You're using overlapping layers of fiberglass. It's a structure that has been used successfully, but with today's heavier outboards and the loads they impose, uh, we needed something better. So we designed a rigid link, if you will, between the transom of the boat, the interior of the structure, and the stringers. Now the stringers in the boat are like the frame of your truck. They're the backbone. They're what they're what support everything and take all the loads. The trick was taking the engine load off of a very small point on the back of the boat, which is just the engine clamp bracket, taking that load and spreading it over much more of the boat and letting more of the structure absorb that load instead of having it focused on one spot on the back of the boat. When you eliminate that flex, you don't experience a loss of bow lift, for example. Uh, you're not losing response time when you punch the throttle. You're not losing hole shot time because the engine's having to flex as far back as it'll go and then catch up and the boat starts to then move forward. Everything happens right then. It's a very, very unique, very strong method of attaching an engine to a boat and, and spreading those loads through the boat. You, you can almost call up a, a, a unitized construction or a unitized assembly method between the engine and the boat. It's something that we don't think has ever been done before. We've used it for great, great success uh, on the bass models. As we started to develop these newer walleye models, we knew that they were candidates for a structure like this. The difference was the walleye models needed a place to mount kickers. They needed a place to mount accessories and things. We wanted something that we felt confident would be up to the task of carrying the loads of, of the larger, heavier, higher horsepower outboards in some of the worst conditions you could probably fish in. You know, the bass guys will tell you, we, we fish in rough water, we don't stay home when the wind blows. Walleye guys don't either.